Now we're going to try and draw a graph with four vertices and six edges that has an Euler cycle. Now, first we need to know is what has an Euler cycle? Well, if you've got no odd vertices, and we'll explain that in a sec, that's when you get an Euler cycle. Uh, if you've got two odd vertices, you'll get an Euler path. And if you've got four, six, etc., you've got neither. An Euler cycle or an Euler path. So we need to count up whether the vertices are odd or even. Well, let's look at that. Firstly, four vertices. I'm just going to draw it in a square shape. That'll do. There's my four vertices. And I get to put in six edges. Well, I'm going to put in, say, one, two, three, four. There's lots of ways I could do this. There's another five. Now let's look at how we're lining up so far. I've still got one more line to draw. Let's see what the vertices are, whether they're odd or even. Two lines go into this vertice, or two edges going in, I should say. That's got two, three edges connecting, two edges, and three edges. So I've got odd vertices there and there. These ones are even, because three is an odd number, two is an even number. Um, so if I'm trying to make an Euler cycle, I want no odd vertices. I've got one more line to draw, and I'm trying to make three and three into even numbers. Well, what about drawing that line? Now that's a four, that's a four, and there's still twos. Success. I've drawn a, uh, a graph with four vertices, six edges, and an Euler cycle. Well, let's start that again. Do the same thing I did. I had four dots, in other words, four vertices. I drew four edges, and then I drew that one in. And we were looking at it saying, well, I've got three, three, two, two. With an Euler path, that's already got an Euler path because that's got two odd vertices. An Euler path means it's got two odd vertices. Now, I want to try and keep that. So how do I keep two odd vertices when I've still got one more line to draw? I know what I could do. I could do this. Because now that two became a three and the three became a four. One odd became even, one even became odd. And in total, I've still got uh, my two odd vertices here and here. So success. Uh, while we're at it, what if we wanted to draw one that had neither? Well, let's do the same start. Four dots. Connect, 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 connect. And my interim numbers are three, two, three, two. If I want to add my fourth line, or my sorry, my sixth edge, and maintain it to be neither an Euler cycle nor an Euler path, well, I reckon I want to make these two odd. Um, I can't go straight through this on a connected graph. I can go around. There we go. Um, now, that's a three. That was already a three. That was already a three, and that's become a three. There's four odd vertices, which means it's neither an Euler cycle or an Euler path. As for what were these things, well, if you've got an Euler cycle, they're all even. You can draw this whole thing starting on any vertice and you'll finish as a cycle finishes back where you started. So I could have started here and drawn this. I know that's not neat, but you see how I drew it all in one move without taking the pen off the paper, without retracing over a line? That's what an Euler cycle will do. From any one point, it'll come back to itself. With an Euler path, It'll do a similar thing, but it won't take you back to the starting point like a cycle does. Its path will lead you from one odd vertice to the other. So as long as I start on one of the odd vertices, let's start here, I can draw this thing, and I will get back to finish at the other odd verti vertice. If I've got one that's neither, I can't draw it all in one go. There's no Euler path, no Euler cycle. I can sketch the thing, but I, with four odd vertices, it's going to take me two separate paths. I'm going to have to lift the pen up, go elsewhere, and do it again. Uh, done.